I've uh, reviewed one fun action film, now it's time to review another. This one is called Harry Brown. It stars the wonderful Michael Caine in the title role. Now, let me just say this. This is like, I guess you say, the best cross between Gran Torino and uh, the old Death Wish movies with, um, with Charles Bronson that you can get. Uh, Michael Caine plays an old man with a dying wife. He lives in a London housing estate, which is owned by drug lords, pretty much. Well, owned in the figurative sense. You know, the pedestrians are constantly terrorized. You know, they're uh, obviously the target of these people. And drugs are just openly sold, and just some areas you just don't venture into. Now, Harry hears a car alarm and looks down to see the car's owner come out and be beaten by thugs. Now, this happens every day. This is almost something that Harry should be used to. But now he's almost hitting his breaking point, but you can see it in his head, but he's not really, you know, pursuing it. Now, Michael Caine is one of the most subtle actors of his time, and you don't get six Oscar nominations and two wins by accident. He knows his characters, he knows his movies, and that's what makes him work so well. Now, he has one of the most distinctive voices in the business, and, you know, you just, you just, you feel like you know him, you know what I mean? You feel like the character of Michael Caine, you, you just know him, any character he plays in a movie. You know him because his voice is a familiarity, and it's weird to describe it that way, but that's how it is now. He begins, obviously, as just a sad, lonely, you know, old man, and he's, and Michael Caine in real life is pushing 80 years old, and, you know, he's, he's, he's like, his persona emerges, and he, you know, he, he was once a Marine who served in Northern Ireland when things got ugly there, and all of that has been put in a box, locked away, and just, he's just now a regular old man, and he thinks he's just worth nothing in this world. He only has one friend, and his name is Leonard, and that's one of his longtime friends, and, you know, they play chess together. They're just typical old man friends, but they're best friends, you know, they have, they have each other. And now the thugs have actually been bugging Leonard, who lives near him, and he shows how his life is miserable, too. You really see this film, and you really love the connection between these two old men really early in the movie. Now, one day, Leonard gets fed up, and he goes to confront them, but it doesn't work out very well. A young police inspector played by the wonderful Emily Mortimer, she's really good here, uh, she tells him, Harry, that Leonard has been killed. And this is where the breaking point of Harry Brown comes apart. He just basically becomes a vigilante and a vicious one at that. But here's what I love about this film is that Michael Caine's character, much like the Clint Eastwood one in uh, Gran Torino, and much less like the Charles Bronson one in Death Wish, he knows his age, he knows his limits, which is why the things he does, he carefully articulates, he said, being an ex, an ex Marine, he knows what to do and what his limitations are as a person. He knows he's old, he knows there's certain things he just can't do, but he's gonna make these guys pay, and he knows how to do it. Now basically the police are, like certain aspects of this film of the story, it's hard to explain, make the police powerless in the situation to do anything, which is why Harry Brown feels he's gonna take a lot of his own hand. This movie does have a somewhat complex plot, but not, not as, as much as Gran Torino did. But it's just a lot of fun watching old Michael Caine just be a complete badass. I mean, there's just nothing like it. Just when you think this guy can't do anything more, he does more. He finds new ways to make himself more memorable in his career. This is the type of movie Michael Caine can look back on and say, you know, wow, that was, that was an experience. That, that was an experience like I never had in my career. Usually there's an actor who's already accomplished so much in his career, he really doesn't need to do much more. Like, you can even look at Tom Hanks, who even before 50 years old accomplished so much. And he did a film like The Terminal, which is almost completely far from most of the characters he's played. And he did it so well. And, that's, and again, that's just the type of movie Michael Caine can look back, you know, on his deathbed and say, you know, wow, that was, that was something. That, that was something. He won't get an Oscar nomination for this. I, I'm telling you that right now. But if... if if he, if, he, if he made an action character artistic in a film, he did it with the character of Harry Brown. And I love how he just unfolds and his descent into madness and taking the law into his, old hand, his own hands is just amazing. Harry Brown gets four stars out of five.